Hello Aquarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your money and career tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from now to the end of January 2021. So I hope you're well Aquarius and let's get straight into a reading and pull your overarching message for the month. So what do we have for Aquarius in money and career please? Okay, the card is turned over. Oh, finding. You're finding something. It just feels very uh, mystical, that card, doesn't it? But we have the butterfly, which represents transformation, the end of manifestation. So it definitely feels for some of you, you're finding something beautiful here. And it can be also a card of if you have been manifesting, there may be some transformation and you're discovering what you're made of. It can be that kind of energy as well. It just feels so magical, that card, doesn't it? Somebody standing in their own peace, happiness, contentment, inner awareness. It's a lovely, lovely energy. Okay. I don't think I've seen that card before come out, so let's pull some more cards and see what we get. I pull three cards, Aquarius. The first card is the issue or challenge you face in terms of money, career, finances. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is the outcome should you take the advice. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay. What do we have for Aquarius, please? Angel Spirits Guides in Money and Korea. Okay, so we have Nine of Wands <laughs> and the Moon. Very nice. Okay. The Advice from Spirit, we have the Five of Swords. And your outcome, we have the Five of Wands. Okay. So, a message for Aquarius, please. Angel Spirits Guides, money and career only, thank you. Now to the end of January 2021. What do we have for Aquarius? Okay, it's interesting two cards have fallen there too. Okay, so we have the Four of Cups and the Page of Wands. We have the Three of Cups. And the Five of Wands is clarifying <laughs> with the Ace of Coins. Bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands here, Aquarius. I definitely feel in this energy. You're certainly discovering what you're made of. There's a sense here, Aquarius. Something is nearly over. moon energy is is lack of clarity sometimes it's magnified energy it's emotional energy it can be to do with where our emotions cloud our judgment to the point where we can't see a way forward it's also a shadow energy as well i don't have full clarity of the situation and how i how this is going to work out how i'm going to move forward what the future holds you know and this is a card of surrender because it is the universe saying, well, when you don't have clarity, that's fine because the universe does, has full clarity, sees the big picture and is guiding you through your intuition. 
so it feels a very very beautiful energy trust your intuition this is absolutely a card of hidden blessings i mean the moon energy can be illusionary energy it can be fears it can be anxiety self-deception you know it can be that kind of energy and it is just keep going when the nine of wands appears because you're so close you're so close even though you don't know really how something's going to pan out here keep going because you've literally got one one to go and that seems to be you know you're you're very close to, to bringing something to a close here now that's what the universe is telling you because we have the four of cups and this again is intuitive energy going within and taking note of what your intuition is telling you because there are better times ahead we have three empty cups and then there's a, a, a cup that's uplifting something that is full that promises fulfillment so it feels like you have options you may have choices you may be giving something some deep thought in a situation there's definitely an energy to persevere and also trust your intuition because your intuition is leading you to where you need to be there is something better ahead don't give up now and that's what you're being told and the page of wands is it can be to do with news to do with an offer an opportunity um can be a good news card good news to do with some kind of opportunity offer very much connected to your passions your desires aquarius but the page of wands is also a card of, of action it's also a card of discovery so and also potential so it feels for some of you now is the time to really you know dig deep you are discovering what you're made of it feels like your metal is being tested quite heavily here Aquarius but for some of you there's such potential you're being told with this page of wands around you right now so don't stay stuck in this energy of emotions this is absolutely the divine nudge as well you need to take action there's greater happiness ahead keep persevering keep going forward so very very beautiful energy and you do that by trusting your intuition because for some of you the five of swords is venus in aquarius so there's an energy here aquarius of we can be our own worst critics we can be our own worst um challenges you know the five of swords can be a card of negative thinking it can be a card of uh conflict inner conflict something causing you conflict but it's a very consuming energy i mean it can also be a card of conflict disagreements with others it feels like you've gone through some kind of difficult journey um this can be about some kind of conflicting energy either internal could be external as well but the message is with this card you need to see past the now um because this is your energy and that's what venus wants you to do it wants you to see past the now because there's so much better ahead so try and open your mind i mean again the five of swords is our mental energy our mental perspective how we view things perceive things our thought patterns and how our mind can go round and round in circles in this cycle of conflict being conflicted negative thinking that kind of energy that can keep you stuck that can stun your growth and there's definitely an energy you need to see past the now with this because the venus holds such promise in this card there's promise um bounty good things that venus wants to bring into you but it can't in this kind of energy so there's almost an energy of, of open your mind because for some of you three of cups is i mean there's definitely an energy of whatever this challenge was it's going to soon be over 
And that's what you're being told by spirit here, three of cups. You might have received support from people who care about you as well in this energy, uh, friends, family. This can be a card of some emotional support, emotional communication, seeing you through a difficult time, people who care deeply for you. Um, but this is about the whatever has been difficult to deal with here is soon to be over. This is a card of closure. The winter is over, the spring is here. So you're going to come through the other side of this situation and in celebration, in triumph, you know, whistles and bells energy, that kind of energy. So it feels in this situation, there's an energy of hold your nerve. There's definitely an energy of perseverance here. There's absolutely an energy of spirit that is guiding you in a particular direction now. Because a situation holds such potential. And some kind of challenge is this kind of energy. It feels like negative thinking more than anything. Um, is soon to be over. What has conflicted you, what has been difficult to deal with, is soon to be over. Because, again, this Five of Wands, it can be a card of conflict as well. It can be a card of struggle. It can be a card of competition. You going for some kind of opportunity. Um, but there's a message with the Five of Wands, and I, I always... I. I'm feeling this quite strong as well. You, there's an energy if you have to be in it to win it. So for some of you, there is some potential here, some kind of potential, maybe an opportunity, something positive that can come your way. But it's almost kind of like, yes, it's a struggle. Yes, there may well be some conflict associated with this or inner conflict. Um, but nevertheless, there's definitely an energy of persevere, keep going. Because it's leading to the Ace of Coins, which is career financial opportunity, moving, relocating, or both. So if you've been competing for a job, it definitely feels like you're going to get the golden opportunity here, Aquarius. If you've been can, you know, you've been wanting to move or relocate or get an offer on your home. It definitely feels for some of you that's going to work as well for some of you as well. Um, hearing about loans. Um, again, this feels very good. It definitely feels in this energy, this golden opportunity. It's opening a new door. And I'm getting, definitely getting that with this Four of Wands. You see the Four of Wands, the door's opening. Because the Ace of Coins is the gift from the universe. It is also the helping hand and it, it definitely feels in these energies the moon the four of cups you've been given blessings whether you know it or not to bring some kind of situation of struggle to a close and to open a new door wow i mean that is beautiful that is beautiful i definitely see this four of wands i mean the four of wands this is a card of celebration. It can be the happy home card as well. So celebrating the home, the family, your relationships, your family, your home. It is also a card. It has four walls, so to speak, or four. It's, it's a square energy, which is about foundation. It's about security, solidity. So some kind of some kind of security and solidity being achieved, having gone through two fires, which is very much about challenge is uh, very much about disruption very much about an unsettling unstable time and stability is being reasserted is being achieved here and that's what this ace of coins is bringing into you a new level of stability but you could be moving home as well it could be a job where you move home it could be a business where you move home um but nevertheless, this is absolutely given to you by God, the divine, the universe. So the struggle isn't in vain. It is going to close. It is going to finish. And again, this energy of, oh, this is so beautiful. Manifestation complete because, you know, the Ace of Coins is your conscious reality. Financial career, 
opportunities. Um, like I said, moving, relocating as well. Um, it just feels very, very beautiful here, Sagittarius. Absolutely beautiful indeed. So something is about to complete and it's going to make you very happy. And you'll have learned a lot by the end of this, this month. Um, and it's almost kind of like what you've learned will equip you for going forward in your life, you know, with this new beginning. Yeah. But if you're competing for something, there's definitely an energy of you're going to be the victor. You're going to be the achiever. There is some celebration here, a milestone, an achievement. So very, very beautiful energy indeed. But my goodness, I'm so feeling this. These energies are not easy to deal with. It's really taking your energy. Whatever this situation has been, it's really drained you. But you don't have far to go. Something is about to shift. A door is about to be opened this month. Okay. It might literally be opened in a new home. <laughs> So what do we have as a final message for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius, please? Final message for Aquarius. Yeah, you see? Shadow work. We have Fox. There are no shadows without light. Yeah. And this is dealing with the shadows. But I definitely feel at the end of this month, there's definitely an energy of celebration whistles and bells you know definitely get this energy of some kind of golden opportunity coming your way it feels very beautiful indeed so i hope you enjoyed the reading aquarius if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful month for you all and i will see you next time thank you